one. Hello, Tana versus Wee Bit Trainer. Now, we've seen these two play quite a bit uh, over the years. They are no strangers to each other's play style. So, uh, 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 okay, everyone's fine. Everyone's doing great right now. <laughs> All right, Number is actually taking a little bit, uh, a very heavy ledge approach, which he doesn't always do these days. Uh, it can be sort of risky against players. And usually when he does, he doesn't necessarily commit to it as in that long. He'll spend a little bit of time falling off stage, going for those sort of voluntary resets. But then he tries to find his way back home pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, so that's one of the really big things in this matchup. We fit trainers crouch. It puts her so close to the ground. In general, Palutena kind of struggles with characters that have a very low profile, uh, you know, thick squirtle when it comes to Pokemon trainer. And we fits crouch. She goes into push up position. Uh, it's more of a push down because she is uh, one of, if not the lowest crouches in the game. And it is just on so many ways to. Force whiffs from Utopian Ray. I think even grab can whiff if uh, spaced improperly. Ooh, ooh. Let's try to be cute. Oh, uh, that cuteness might cost him. Has to recover low here and neutral air. That move just got nerfed, and yeah, you can kind of see the effects of that immediately. That does not have the same knockback that it used to. Yeah, oh, that is a nerf that you can feel. Uh, not necessarily all the way, because she still has other options. Going deep with that explosive flame will give Utopian Ray the first stock lead of the set. Number still has deep breathing in effect. So many things he has to kill, especially that forward tilt. You see now, it can murder lives extremely early. Number is taking an aggressive in face approach against Utopian Ray. And there we see that crouch. It is honestly just a more effective defensive option than Shield. I think it's a little bit slower because he has to go to crouch animation. But the fact that it makes, I mean, no move in the game is safe on whip if it's faced fully. Numbers now, that last stock was so good for him. And he is looking at possibly widening this gap even more. As I say that, I'm the Utopian Ray gets his first effective ledge trap. We haven't really seen him do that so far. Grabbing from the ledge. Goes for up throw, doesn't want to stale his back row. Very smart, realizes that that's probably one of his best kill ops at this stage. And once again, you see the nerfs, the down throw sending down numbers too far away to be followed up on. Oh, the spacing just barely off. And that's going to be huge for Utopian Ray. He's going to go all the way down there for the neutral air. Take the stock though, and that's really big for numbers. He is surviving to really late percents. Just 41 here, and it might even go further. Ah, he had the read on the air dodge, but wasn't actually able to land the move. Another up throw, still not enough. Even that forward air, numbers is living to these crazy high percents. All right, but there finally numbers goes in for that maybe overzealous dash grab. And on with Utopian Ray is going to punish it. And here is where the comeback can start happening. 40 damage off of a single neutral air. At this point, yeah, this is once again an even game. That early dump though will still be able to connect with the back air. Goes for a big punish, possibly? No. Going the fact he went for up throw right there, he was possibly looking for an extremely early stop. Numbers, though, gets out of dodge pretty easily. But now they're both here in the red. Topian Ray looking a little bit more bloody than Numbers, but either one of them can lose their stock at this point to a powerful hit from the opponent. All oh, these moves are swiffing. 
Tunes is not enough. Now Numbers has the breathing in effect that will help out with his kill power and also with his defense. It reduces the damage he takes just a little bit. And there's the back air. Wow. I, I will say, I, you can see the nerfs already playing out in this matchup. Some of those things that were really good for Palutena just not quite the same anymore. And it looks like we're getting the run back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah. Same characters, but it might not be the same story. You know, Utopian Ray, he hasn't had as much time with this, with the nerf Palu. I mean, the character wasn't massively nerfed, but, you know, there were a couple situations there where you could see that they affected the outcome of things. So the more time he plays, you know, with his touched up character. Numbers being pretty aggressive with his aerials, throwing out a lot of moves here. Utopian Ray acknowledging that goes for the dash attack, which as a move beats out pretty much everything. Yeah, Numbers being extremely aggressive. Doesn't quite be working out for him. Yeah, Utopian Ray seems to be able to, when, once he goes into the air, once he starts throwing out those moves, it seems that he's ready for it. I like the idea of going to that back air when you're near the ledge, because the back air does not auto-cancel out of a short hop, but it will go off the stage uh, pretty much on the Down tilt is killing! And he even had deep breathing in effect, I think. Numbers needs to take this stock up very quickly because if he gets hit once, he can get neutral in and he can eat a whole dish load of damage. Kind of avoids you know, the worst case scenario right there, but already took 30% and another hit probably would amount to another 20 at least. Oh, such a beautiful option right there. Just recognizing the hole in the long fence. Now numbers no longer breathing in effect, but he can possibly get a lot of damage in if he's lower percents with the right move. Solid back if from numbers. Oof. Yeah, they are absolutely even at this point. A little bit of damage separating them, but numbers still has deep breathing. That means his moves will have more kill power. Shout and he actually house. gets the two frame with the side beam. That's Shout out to the house for Let's go, numbers. HR3K header. <laughs> In them solid back airs. Got Utopian Ray over here with the Palutena. Numbers taking the time to charge. Oh, trying to set up some nasty stuff. Don't run into him. Ooh, attack! Good yeah. players attack always. It's one of those things Numbers is really known for. Uh, I guess he tried to extend the hitbox with the soccer ball on the dash attack, but Utopian Ray just waited patiently. Oh, the that's nerf. That, the nerf. That was exactly what that nerf was. Oh my targeting. god, poor, 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 poor Palutena's. I'm sorry. Poor Palutena? <laughs> she got off pretty easy. <laughs> really? Oh, that kills though. That kills. We take those. Like, I, okay, I just want to dwell on this for a second. Like, compare her to Peach, right? Peach. Two of her kill setups got taken away, right? Like, yes. Neutral doesn't kill off stage quite the but same way. Good. It doesn't have that back air down for the ledge. If you compare that to when Peach was nerfed, she lost so much of the things that, like, helped her kill. And true, everything, true. It's just how, her game plan. Like, anyway, regardless, arguably yeah. Peach did need it more than Palu, but that's a discussion for a different day. That's that's for that's for arguments purposes. Uh, yeah, right now numbers doing his patented technique of uh, go off stage. Don't mess with him. He's got KO Can on. I mean, at this, uh, upper read, though. At this point, Utopian Ray does need to get something really started the here. The crouch on the grab. Oh, yeah. what a genius! 
movement master numbers over here. I mean, against Palu, it's kind of a better shield. Especially when she just charges at you like that. Oh, that was so big. The drag down up air. And still Utopian Ray is alive, and he has a lot of rage on awesome. his body. Numbers are not going for the deep breathing. Oh, careful, Numbers. Your ball is still up there. Oh. One grab should do it. Yeah, Numbers okay. knows that. One grab, forward tilt. Don't get, don't get hasty. Don't get hasty. Oh, that's not going to do it. Forward air was like the only move that wouldn't kill at that point. Oh, no grab there. Oh, it's the grab. She's dead. Tilt, the the buff. buff. It no, wasn't quite no, buffed enough. There. Devin, please. <laughs> Definitely got me. <laughs> got Back me too. No, shouldn't no, no, be no, it either. Ooh, jump right over the flames. No jump. It's scary for numbers. Oh, the roll. The roll is so good in the ledge. Uh, poke oh. the shield. Poke the shield. Good delay on numbers on his recovery. Oh, oh the up air. See, get him. Oh. He can't take it. He was launched at too high that of a was velocity. Like, that was like suicide up there right there, and it worked out. Too bad for you. Good that stuff to Ray. <laughs> also, such a good option. In that situation, numbers was not expecting it. So I was very good. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was like... You tell me he's gonna up air right there. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Start the battle. We've been training. Oh, yeah, would he have been able to tech neutral air at that point? He might have still been able to tech Slow neutral air. Goes up there, jumps. Yeah, yeah. Three, for that up air. Two, one, go. Oh, was that untechable? Oh, man. All right, game. Oh, game Ooh. numbers, no. <laughs> All right, it's fine. I know you live out there, but <laughs> you're about to be buried over there. <laughs> yeah, so this is game three now. That game two, really just a massive comeback for Toby and Ray. It felt like John was in control for oh, so much of that game, attack. but oh, I think this time around, numbers needs to, he needs to kill. He can't have Yeah, his, he, he kind of like played with his food a bit last game, and it kind of just like, Bite him I the think the really big, like pivotal moment. There was one time where he could have gone for deep breathing, and instead he shot the sun salutation, oh, of course. and it got reflected at him. And then he went for the deep breathing when he was already in disadvantage, and things got worse from there. Yeah, I think snowballed. In this, yeah, I think. I mean, obviously, John is the we for we we for we fit expert. Uh, but I think deep breathing in those you know dire situations is going to be more important than just a you know Randy sun salutation. That's true. Kao Ken up again, grabs the ledge, and he's uh, finding his way out of this situation here. This is the time where both players are going to get ready for a kill setup or something, but there. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Palutena is still scary, that dash attack. Just blocks oh, for her. The timing on his, uh, on the deep breathing, that's really big for him. Oh, they swing. Oh! And the forward air with the KO can. Spacing. Oh. Did, did he just outspace a dash attack? I'm, I'm not so. sure exactly what move was there. Oh. But, okay. Catch the bring it right back. Oh, man. Numbers make it a good string here with this uh, uh, deep breathing power up. Ooh. Almost oh, he, something there. Almost. Yeah, he got that. We fit neutral air with deep breathing at low percent. Oh man, this it's is like, disgusting. It's like seventy percent. Like you just hear the crunch Three. noises out of like, every hit, and it just hurts. <laughs> Solid fifty right there. I mean, it's like at least it's canon believable. Like yeah. if an actual yoga instructor did that to me, <laughs> I would expect to take at least seventy damage. <laughs> just like just crunch at me. <laughs> I like what Numbers does with his rolls. Like, he, like, does it, like, not in an often way, but, like, when you least expect it. So, like, he saves it at the right time to do it. Ooh, nice. Saves the Sun Salutation, too. Oh, the sun. This is going on right now. They're just dodging each other. Powers up, up air, oh, not gonna take it. Yeah, and that's the situation where instead of going for another projectile, he went for deep breathing, and that could really make the difference oh, here. That dash, dash attack kills, and only because he had deep breathing in effect. The speed on this character with deep breathing is insane. Oh, the crunches are coming out, oh. Ah, uh, boy, that was, just, that was just a smart up beat. Yeah, good, good of Ray to escape from that situation. Solid back air. Okay. Numbers makes it back. Oh, he's hitting them. He 
he's trying to set up something right there, but I guess he took, to, took his time to do it. Uh. Okay. Those uh, deep breathing on numbers right now. He's trying to fight his way out of here. Up in there. This is crazy seeing numbers like crouch like almost like all of uh, Palutena's options here. Like he's lucky like uh, oh, Ray's not like jump. hitting him. Attack. Oh. Ah, that that was an amazing recovery. That was so good. He flew the, 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 the header oh. completely, but it might be a little bit too late now. He's already at 91%. Numbers is still alive at 169. I mean, he did make a huge comeback last game, so I am not counting him out in the least. None of these players, really, because like they both could take the set, but Numbers is clearly an advantage here with like Ray at 130 and 4 tilt. KO pin 4 tilt. Wow. That's that, it. Yeah, that's the set. Numbers moving up to winner's semis. Where is he fighting against Odyssey? I'm not sure what uh, the shape of bracket is like. Should be like one more match in winner's uh, top top four.